Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will talk about the hardware of the MRCT. Let's get started. There are two versions of the MRCT units which are shown here, the non-screen and the embedded screen unit. This one is the non-display unit and this one is the unit with an embedded display. They both perform the same functions and have similar hardware, the main difference being that one of them has an embedded touchscreen for control of the unit. Here we see the ground connection, the power connection, and the power switch. Remember that the ground terminal should be the first one to be connected and the last one to be disconnected. A solid ground connection is very important to obtain good results. After we guarantee a proper ground connection, we can connect our power cord and turn the unit on. Grounding cables are provided with these units. Each unit has an emergency stop button, Ethernet ports for computer control, connections for primary and secondary side of the CT. The relay option provides the unit with a voltage convertible channel uh, from 0 to 300 volts as a voltage channel and 5 amps continuous to a maximum of 15 amps for 1.5 seconds and a current output capable of 32 amps continuous and a maximum of 60 amps for 1.5 seconds. Also included with the relay option are an 8 amp 300 volts binary output and a binary input with a rating of 0 to 300 volts AC or DC. A control knob and a display as well as uh, USB ports are included in these units which are part of the external STVI used to control non-display units. Additionally, on non-script units, we have a dedicated Ethernet port for connection to an STVI. Color-coded coded secondary connection cables are provided. Each lead terminal is color-coded and marked to indicate where they should be connected on the instrument. The color coding and markings make the connection diagrams very easy to follow, as can be seen here. Alligator clips are provided, which can be used for the secondary connections of the, of the instrument. And um, primary side cables with uh, H1, H2 and ground, as well as uh, primary um, clamps are provided, as can be shown here and several types of spade logs are provided for connection to different relay and CT terminal blocks. This concludes our video about the hardware of the MRCT. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.